And now it's time for a Q&A from you, the viewers. And our first question comes in via Twitter from Dr. Phoebes. And he's curious about upload frequency and whether or not uploading to YouTube too frequently could result in a diminishing return for creators. And I would say this really depends on where your audience is coming from. And I'm in a really weird place because I have 230,000 plus subscribers, but those subscribers only make up about 20% of my overall views. And the reason why I do this weekly wrap-up video every week is so that I can connect with you, the viewers, because there aren't many other opportunities through uh, what I do normally to do that. And this is why I really enjoy this video very much and sometimes doing the premiere so I can chat with you all in real time as these come out. And what I found in my experience is that, yes, there is a diminishing return to uploading too frequently. If I do two uploads or more in a day, uh, viewers are just completely overloaded and don't know where to start. So I try to do only one upload a day. Generally, I'm doing an upload every other day. And I'm keeping track of this with the real-time chart in the YouTube studio. This is a really critical tool because it helps me figure out when a video has run its course with subscribers so that I can upload the next one. And the reason is, is that I want to make sure that if a video is doing well with subscribers, we don't uh, direct people in a new direction before that other video has run its course. Because the more watch time that you can build up early in a video's life, the better you're going to do in search and algorithmic recommendation down the road. And my bread and butter here is based on search and algorithm because that's about 80% of my overall traffic are people that are not subscribers to the channel and probably never will be, but they're researching a product and want more information about it. And here I am with that info. Uh, so that's why I really keep an eye on this. So what'll happen here is as a video gets uploaded, we get a ton of subscriber views and then they usually fizzle out after 48 hours, sometimes sooner, but generally it's about two days. And what I'll do at the end of that two day cycle is upload the next video. But you might see me uploading a video the day after the one that just went up, and that's because that other video didn't do well at all. It had dropped really quickly and fizzled out faster than I would have hoped it would, and then I'll put the next one up to keep people engaged and watching. So that's generally what I follow here. And what's interesting is if you look down at my other top videos of the last 48 hours, most of these are older videos, and most of the views of these videos are coming from non-subscribers. So you can see uh, even one here that I did four years ago on Chromebooks. Uh, this one kind of tanked initially, but as Chromebooks got more uh, out into the consumer space and people were looking into them more frequently, uh, searches increased, and as a result, this video became more of a recommended thing to people, and it's still getting watched today. It's one of my top earning videos of the last two years, believe it or not. And this is why if you really develop a strategy that's focused on engaging your subscribers, but also on search and algorithm, you can get a lot of life out of your content and earn a living like I am now doing this. It's just a matter of trying to figure out what people are looking for and providing content that answers questions for what people are looking for. And this is why we don't get into the technical weeds all that often on this channel because most of who I'm trying to reach here are general consumers trying to get some basic information about a laptop they're trying to buy, for example. And this is why I do that, because uh, there are certainly more people out there searching for this information that are not finding what they're looking for. And if you're able to provide that information, your videos can live a long time and continue earning for you over a long period of time as well. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Mike Talbert, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.